hello everyone and welcome back to my react native series so in this video we will be learning about how we can use this built-in component provided by react native also we will see how we can initiate the vibration how we can stop the vibration how can we pass the pattern into your uh, vibration right so when you initiating the vibration all of that we'll see so let's move forward and jump to the code so guys i have already created this page for you so that we can quickly start with vibration so in order to start with vibration we have to import this vibration from the react native okay because it is a built-in component right and now and now i will tell you what are we going to do with this vibration okay so very first thing we will just call this vibrate method okay so this method will actually just trigger the uh, vibration and that is for default time which is 400 ms so this is the default time for uh, any vibration if you just call this method right so second thing what i will do i will actually pass one second here or basically the time here so let's say uh, 1000 ms so basically what it will do it will vibrate your mobile for a second right so this is another way and third way what we will do and what this vibrate provide is the pattern so first thing you'll be passing this array of uh, duration okay and second thing you pass boolean value which actually says you wanted to continue this vibration for the longer time or basically you want you don't want that okay basically it will turn your vibration into loop okay so it will be boolean and last thing we'll do is we'll stop the vibration or cancel the vibration okay so let's move forward so now in order to start with our very first vibration which is will vibrate once so what we have to do we have to just take one button okay and that button is actually having a title vibrate once okay and in order to do any event you know that on the button you have to have this on press uh, prop and where you will be having this arrow function and you will be calling this vibration uh, which we have imported and then dot vibrate okay and that's when you have to just close this bracket so this is the default behavior i said it is like a 400 ms kind of vibration whenever you touch upon this and you know uh, because we are on laptop so we cannot feel the vibration for sure so what we have to do in end of this video i will showcase you one barcode where you can scan that and uh, run that in your expo application and that's when uh, you will see and feel all of these vibrations so let's move forward so this is uh, the button which will just uh, vibrate a mobile for once okay now let's have one more button this is like vibrate for one sec okay now for uh, vibrating this for one second let's define one uh, variable one sec ms so basically everything is in uh, ms so that's why i'm taking thousand so that uh, so that we have this vibration running for one second so I have to just pass this here in that vibrate method right so this is uh, another thing where we can pass the duration and this duration can start from uh, like 1 to whatever right so generally we define for 100 or 10 or 50 uh, let's say you are tapping on your keyboard right so that's a very minimum vibration so you can choose that here or you can basically define that here now next thing comes in is I said like patterns okay so pattern is something which you need to pass here you have to pass this particular array and second thing will be your loop so if you wanted to run this vibration into loop so now uh, i am passing false for the first one okay and here we will be passing some kind of pattern so instead of defining this array here what i will do i will just quickly define that pattern okay and then we have this array and then array can have uh, any kind of uh, duration right so you can define something random so that you feel different vibration okay yeah so we have this pattern and we can just replace with the empty array and here we can just change the text vibration with pattern okay now another thing is uh, that second parameter we are passing which is false we, if we turn to true so in the loop so this particular button if you click your vibration will run into the loop okay and now uh, all of this is okay now if you wanted to cancel let's say your vibration is running in loop so that means your mobile will be keep running uh, and your vibration will be keep happening okay so if you wanted to cancel what you can do you can quickly just click on this button and there is a method which is called cancel 
so you can always cancel the vibration okay cancel the vibration okay so this is how you can cancel your vibration so all of this is uh, pretty easy right it's very easy to work with vibration so it's up to you if you wanted to play around or you wanted to create some uh, better thing uh, out of this yeah that's so now if you wanted to feel all of this vibration in your mobile so i have uh, actually exported one barcode so that i can just show you in the video and you can you can scan and uh, just feel about that okay so i will just import image so that because it's an image i need to load that here so i'll just use that image and uh, source so as you know in last video i've explained about images so how we can use the images or import images in the react native application so what i will do i will just go to this asset folder and basically i'll use this image yeah this is the barcode i'm talking about okay <clears throat> so what i will do i will just quickly paste that here so what you notice we have this barcode so you guys can just scan this barcode and feel all of these vibrations okay so now uh, this is very small video and very great examples if you wanted to work with vibrations so see you in next video guys so till then guys keep coding keep shining and subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you don't miss any kind of upcoming videos bye bye take care